MJ Grant's 77-year-old mother has suffered from symptoms of dementia since 2009. Now, she doesn't recognize anybody. She knows somebody looks familiar, and she's not quite sure where she knows them from. And she doesn't know people's names. She only really knows my name and my sister's name, but that's because we tell her. The journey of caring for someone with dementia is full of challenges, but also very precious. Well, it's interesting. I have four children. One of them is 25 and he lives on his own. I have a 19 year old daughter and a soon to be 16 year old son and my youngest daughter just turned six. At one point we had two mothers living here, both with dementia. My husband's mother has dementia as well. So for a year, we had both of them living in our home. And that was really difficult for my children because it took a level of attention from my husband and I, from the children. It required a lot of attention to be put towards the moms because they needed meals cooked for them. They needed you know, prompts with self-care and things of that nature. So I think for my children, the hard part was they just didn't feel this sort of sense of freedom in their own home. Um, it's a little different now because we have moved my mother-in-law into an assisted living facility because it just became increasingly more difficult to try to balance all of the demands in her life with caring for two moms, having you know older teenagers, but also having a younger daughter who really needed more support. It can be really, really heart opening and teach you such a great deal of patience and uh, compassion and empathy. It's a blessing in many ways, as much as it can be difficult. MJ Grant believes that it's important to help a person with dementia feel connected to others by interacting with everyone around them. Because what I see now, she's okay with being you know, by herself for a short period of time and sitting in her room and being content uh, watching the news or the weather channel or the travel channel. She likes that. But then she's coming out of her room and going, where are the people? She wants to be around people. She wants to be interacting with people. So it really does fall on us to make sure that we are giving her opportunities to be around people who can communicate with her. My, my mother is so incredibly kind and joyful all the time. I, I've never seen anything like it. And she wasn't always that way. She was, she was anxious and depressed for many years. She was always kind. She wasn't joyful. And now she's joyful. So it, make, it brings a light to our house and to our home and to our lives, you know? And so my kids, we smile a lot and we laugh a lot. And there are some barriers with communication, but that's getting better because they're getting more used to how my mother communicates now that she's in our home. So it's an interesting journey. MJ Grant would like to share a message with families who are dealing with dementia. Although there's been some dark moments, it's shed a lot of light. I wish for people who are dealing with this situation, I, I wish that and I hope and pray that someday there's just a better answer for families um, and that deaf people are not pushed to the wayside. Their needs are recognized and valued in the world and that more people learn sign language. Yeah.